Hey guys, Youth Pastor Robert here. I'm here with the 52nd prayer from my book, 365 Days of Prayer for Teens. And we're doing November 5th, Golden Rule. And the scripture is Matthew 7, 12 in CV. And it says, Jesus says, Do to others what you want them to do to you. This is the meaning of the law of Moses and the teaching of the prophets. Matthew 7, 12 in CV. So basically the golden rule comes from Jesus and Jesus teaches us, you know, the way you want to be treated, you should treat others that way, you know, do good and good will come back to you kind of thing. Um, the greatest commandment is love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. So literally Jesus is saying, if you love God with everything and you love your neighbor, and you love yourself, not like a prideful way, but God wants us to care about ourselves. He wants us to love ourselves. Um, we are loved and created by Him. We're cared for by Him. He wants us to feel the same way about ourselves. So God wants us to follow the greatest commandment. But look at that. If you follow the greatest commandment, you can't sin. I mean, you can't sin when you're breaking that commandment. God made it so simple for us. You know, just think, if I loved you, am I going to am I gonna kill you? If I loved you, am I going to steal from you? You know, if I love God, am I going to curse out God's name? You know, am I going to sin against God if I love him? You know, um, just thinking about that. You know, if you love God, you love your neighbor, you love yourself, you can't sin when you're doing those things. Because, you know, God's just made it so simple for us. Um, so here's the golden rule, and here's the scripture prayer. I'm going to go ahead and pray it for us. You can hear me pray it for you out loud as well. It says, God, I want to have a servant's heart, just like Jesus did. To many, serving is something they do to get things in return. I clean my room so I can go to my friend's house. I go to work only to get money. Or I help pass out papers in class to make the teacher like me. Many things I do that seem like they are coming from a servant's heart are really coming from greed and selfish pursuits. Father, you say to give in secret and expect nothing in return. When I give in secret, I am filled with a joy that I can't explain. You bless me in greater ways when I serve like Jesus than when I serve for my own benefit. I will take each day as an opportunity to love, serve, and listen to others in the same way you ask others to do to me. Here's the question. Are your attitudes and actions consistent with how you expect to be treated by others? So remember the golden rule, guys, and remember that question. And again, this is Youth Pastor Robert signing out. Have a great day. I'll be on tomorrow with more prayers. Bye-bye.